We're going to show how to create a basic screen with CAQTDM to access a single motor from Synapse XXX. First thing we need is the Unix command line and CAQTDM and QT Designer installed. We want to set an environment variable that defines where to get the screens from. So I'm going to set the CAQTDM display path equal to where we have Synapse motor support. The Synapse motor support is located at this particular path. Okay, now that we have the Synapse motor support loaded and we're in some directory where we want to put screens, let's create a screen that accesses a single motor. To prove that we have that motor already, let's try to get its value from the command line. Here we have a position, we have a description, so we know we've got a XXX motor already going. So the first thing we want to do is run the designer. Uh, let's find out which designer we're going to get. We're going to pick the one from Anaconda. Probably have several designers located on the system, but we're going to run just one of them and hope we've got all our command variables, environment variables set up to access designer with CAQTDM's libraries. So first thing you do is you get a new form that comes up this is the first decision you're going to have to make. Choose main window to create forms that are useful for CAQTDM. So we press the create button and we get a nice set of windows. Let's prove to ourselves we got the CAQTDM libraries by scanning through the left hand um, widget box and as we go down the list we look and see finally near the end of the list that we have CAQTDM controllers, graphics, monitors, and utilities. That says we properly located and loaded the CAQTDM libraries. If you look in the top, here's where our screen is going to be located. If you look in the top right at the object inspector, you see we've created a main window which has a central widget, has a menu bar, and a status bar. For CAQTDM, we're not going to be using these two menu bars and status bars, so we're going to take them out. Right click on the object, hit the pop up menu, and say remove. So now we have a main window that's titled. Let's make this window just a little bit smaller because we really don't need it to be as large as this. Okay, so now we have a main window. And that window looks like such and so. Let's um, create a related display button so that we can start up, see, start up the motor support from that directly. We're going to go shopping for that because we don't remember where this related display button is. Aha, here it is. So we click on that, we drag one over here, and we'll, we have the option of getting two motor buttons at the same time. So now we have two of those. Let's go looking for the additional controls to configure this button. So we go down the list here, the button has a certain size. We're going to roll down this list and ignore the label that goes along with it. We need to set the file that we want to launch with this. I remember that the name of the file that we have says to be the first one. First file that we have is motorx.ui. The second file, we're not going to load a second motor, so we're going to delete that one. Press the delete button, then we hit the OK button. Now, the arguments that we want to pass with that are the motor PV parts, the prefix and then the specific motor. If we go back and look at the motor that we have here, this part is the part we'll use for the prefix, xxx colon, and the motor name is M1. So we go back to this nice little window over here, and we choose change uh, string list for the arguments. Remember, we take out the second one. We only have one file we're going to talk with. And now we select the first one here, and we're going to say P equals xxx colon, comma, M equals M1. So those are the two parts of the motors that we have, and the macro for opening the motorx.ui screen has macros P and M. Having done that, let's give it a label, and we're going to say, again, take out the second possible screen there, and we'll call this motor1. Having done that, we can go ahead and close this, or we can uh, save this screen from the file menu in Designer. Let's give it a name and we're going to put it in the directory where we're located. So this is mymotor.ui. 
We're going to save that. Now it's been saved. If I had made a change, if I move this widget around, you'll see a little star here appear. And that star means that this screen has un unsaved changes. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that again. We'll go back to our command line down here. And now let's run, determine that we actually have an executable for CAQ TDM that's available. And yes, I've loaded it here on user local epic, OPI, bin, etc. You see where that is. So now, having done that, let's start this by typing CAQ TDM and then mymotor.ui. Let's watch what happens. We see that CAQTDM starts and then mymotor.ui starts. We get this big pop-up button here in the center of the screen, just like we designed it. Let's press that. And sure enough, you get a motor screen. If I tell it to tweak forward by one degree steps, I can move forward and the motor moves. I'm told to go back, the motor goes back, and life is beautiful because you get all the other kinds of help, all the other additional screens that are available with the motor. So Thanks very much. That shows you how to do that.